it was very important to us that you were seeing various representations of what it is to be a woman. In Lessons in Chemistry, there's so many examples on screen, but then you also have it behind the camera as well. And action. It's been so incredible to walk onto these sets where I have seen so many women and producers and directors to have that understanding and to move forward together in this very daring way and exposing our truths. It's intensely wonderful. It's nice to have anyone tell this story, but it brings a little bit more when it's someone who may have experienced similar things in their own career. Sweetheart, I could use another cup of joe when you're done with that. Most women on production can understand trying to claw their way into getting taken seriously. So to have our directors, who are all women, commanding a set, it was really cool to see. You're gonna be right here to go boom. I'm a black female director in a very male-oriented industry. So I understood that battle of saying, this is what I wanna do, this is what I love, why can't I do it? Why is it different for me? We have rules, Mrs. Ott. Who do you think you are? A woman. When I started, there were very few women around me. You just kind of realize early on that in order to get there, you really have to be fierce, but at the same time, be more gentle, because if you're not gentle as a woman, then you're considered a bitch. How would you describe the host? Stuck up, unpleasant, didn't smile once. There's a beauty to Elizabeth Salt, but also a grittiness to her, and we all can relate to that. Are those pants? Why is she wearing pants? Whether it's costumes or production design or props, you're getting that experience in every layer of it. Knowing that it's like two or three women or two or three people of color in each department it makes it easier. On this project, I really felt heard and trusted. One ready to go for her to pull, and then maybe she cuts into an. That's brilliant, Courtney. Yeah. If you are the most capable at doing something, you should get the opportunity to do it and excel at it, period. Why would anyone discriminate based on something as intellectually non-determinative as gender? Calvin, how many female scientists can you name? Madame Curie? Exactly. If you're gonna do this, this industry, or actually any industry, take up space. Take up space the best way you know how. Don't diminish yourself for others. You have a platform. What you say matters. The best piece of advice that I ever got was from a fellow filmmaker who told me to just do you. And that changed my whole perspective as a director. Let me just see how you would do it. Pour it in and then put it back on the flame, tilting it slightly, and then it should just go up in flames. Having women behind the camera, it's just amazing to watch. And then I know it's gonna empower some little girl. I didn't know that it was possible for me to work in a camera department. And so for me to see these women stand up and be like, hey, I want to bring the camera over here, or hey, I like this time of shot, is super inspiring. It's a really powerful feeling to know that we're all here because we want to bring excellence to this because we know the story deserves it and that we're capable of bringing it. At the end of our time here together, we will have done something worth doing. And it will matter.